so I'm going to run my frequency separation. Here we go. Change the brush to mixer brush. Yeah. I usually leave this on soft light so I still achieve more details on the picture. Or I can just bring it down to normal if I'm okay with the detail of the picture. So let's go back to like fair soft light because some areas on the photo are quite blurry so I leave it at soft light so I get a sharp a little bit sharp edges. So so now I want to get rid of this um, blemishes and the little pimples on the face. So with my clone stuff and I'll use the high copy layer the clone stuff and I zoom in. I pick from a good area and cover up for that area. So this is how I usually do my blemish with the remover. So I get rid of this because I may not have the chance to do this to I'm done I get to the photo. Okay, our mother hair doesn't have much uh pimples, so yes we just proceed to the low copy and change our brush to the mixer brush. Yeah your settings should be 30 30 30 30 and zero. So it's in the 2019 Photoshop. Yeah. And this should be clicked. You know, you just have to look like this, okay? Yeah. Okay, when you click this, it automatically changes this white to transparent pixel. So make sure your panel is like this. So I can zoom in for you. So, okay. Let me zoom that way. So let's get to my photo. So I usually start with the forehead and then to the other part of the face. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I'm going to draw um, something for you guys. I'll create a new layer. This is just a test layer. It's the part of the whole thing. So I'm going to zoom in and uh, I want to separate these parts and to make sure you don't uh, by mistake try to blend through these highlights over here and the highlights over here of every face every face usually have uh, highlights on particular edges of the face so by default these are the basic um, highlighted parts of the face so I try my best not to over smoothing my images and get rid of these highlights over here so it's just for you to know, this is just a test uh, layer, so get rid of it. So we go back to our low copy, zoom our brush. Okay, so blend to this forehead. I try to dodge out on the highlighted parts. So right here, I'm trying to get rid of the hair. Um, trying to push it backward, you know, so it can have more detail on the face. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there you are. Okay, this might take a while, you just have to be patient. Okay. So down, coming down to the cheek. Yeah. So I just slide to uh, these lines below the eye. This um, rumpleness. I try to cover it up a little bit. Doesn't look so stressed out. Okay. You don't need to play to this side, you don't need to come this way if you don't have much uh, experience with our makeup. And that's what I do, so I just... What I'm trying to do is just make it pop out a little bit. Yeah. Right, so make the makeup come out a little bit. Smoothing through the eyeshadows. Not too much, but 
in a particular direction. As you can see. Yes, we're okay with that. You can easily toggle with um, the different after see what you've done. Okay, yes, we're on track. So we can proceed to the other chip to blend it. Mind you, there's a, a darker part and there's a highlighted part. Try not to mix them together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of making progress. Go down to the, the chain, the chain, the jaw, try to blend through it, and try to preserve this and highlight it on here. There you go. You can modify your nose, you can adjust it a little bit to fit the uh, kind of shape you want it to fit to. I usually don't overdo it, so I can see the before and after, not much difference in it. So you can see enough to tell on the face. So, so you can actually go down to the hand area. Most retouchers usually neglect this part. The hand is also part of the body, and it's part of retouching. So why not just make it all look good? So I try my best not to forget the hand or any other part of the body. It's a part of the particular photo I took, so I'm just going to blend through the hand. It's not something so difficult. Okay. Right here. So to, uh, when we're done with the hand, we we'll move to the neck just to give it a quite smoking feel. Okay. I have parts of the neck as well. So when editing, you can zoom out, zoom in. So you know how the picture looks like when you zoom in and when you zoom back. <coughs> so right here I'm going to proceed to the dodge and bounce. So I'm just going to measure this layer clicking Ctrl Shift E or Command Shift E if you're using a Mac. So I'm just going to click my dodge and bounce and this panel pops out. I'm using a regular brush. And I'm going to reduce this opacity to 20, 24, a fluid to 24 as well. Smoking can be 10. So I'm using a white layer and a black um, layer over here. So you can actually see the effect. So I'm going to go to the um, gel chain. So I'm going to add some burn to the side cheek thing. as you can see okay. same thing for the nose just to make it pop out a little bit I'm going to do that for the shadows as well so it will pop out a little bit okay. and both sheets 
when I go to my job and uh, keep this highlighted like part. Okay, just a little bit, not too much. There we go. Right here, I'll just um, go to this put layer so I can easily toggle the change in the front after. You can see the effect of the version down. There you go. Picture pops up now. So I'm just gonna uh, add some color, more like a color gradient. Uh, as you can see, there's not much grids to be done because I've already done some she touches my capture on. So here here is quite flexible depending on what you want to achieve. Uh, I'm just gonna turn down the yellow on my red panel down, create the black a little. Then go to my black and just take it down so to pop out the dark part of the lashes and dark areas. I'm going to take this down a little bit. I'm going to go to my color balance, shadows, bring it down my yellow a little bit, go to my highlights, take the yellows up a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I usually feel the picture looks quite bright, so I go to exposure. Just take this up a little bit. There you go. All your edges are popping, highlights are popping. Then you get a, a good image. Normally, I go to liquify to adjust the nose or maybe the face structure. Um, to just go to it. I just duplicate this layer here. Go to G. All right, click. You need to click. So I'm going to go to. Uh, liquify. I don't usually use this all the time, but just in case you may want to reduce the size of the face, you can do that. Or for the nose, you can reduce the nose as well. So basically, you, you do this according to the way you want your picture to look like. So I feel my picture is okay like this so thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your time